The robot. Did I already tell you what I'm hoping you'll get me for my birthday present? <laughs> yes, honey. Only a thousand times or so. A robotozoid R300 would just be the greatest. With Mega Vision, I want it. I really do. <sighs> I do. Well, tomorrow you'll find out. But now it's time to sleep, Tom Thomas. Wow, that is one great present. And we got Tom Thomas absolutely zero for his birthday. Ah, uh, we're just terrible friends. So, how does this robot work? Okay, so let's give this a try, shall we? First, we'll take a walk. And how does he have any idea where the robot's going? I can tell you. One of the robot's eyes is a video camera. The robot sends the picture to the screen on the controller so the player can see where the robot is going. Yeah! And that's just one thing they know how to do. A robot is a smart machine that can do very difficult or dangerous work for humans. With its strong metal arms, a robot can move heavy objects or put together parts to build cars and other machines. Robots are often sent into outer space or to the bottom of the ocean to help scientists. There are also robots that can understand what people are saying. And robots that can talk and even make jokes, just like people. I've got it. Now let's turn you around. Ah! Uh, what was that? Uh, look. You know... <gasps> he destroyed him! No, let stop! You were playing with that, right? You think Tom will notice? Ugh. Oh. I know what you're doing all night. I'm off to bed. I'll get him to work. I'll stay up until I do. Simka, let's try and... No, we're gonna need some help. Robotazoid R300, I can't believe it! <sighs> well, happy birthday to you, Tom Thomas. I'm sorry, Tom Thomas. Last night, your robot, you know, I broke it. Dad, it works perfectly! Don't you see? I'm so proud of you. You fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't fix it at all. I tried everything. Oh, you want to tell me that the robot fixed itself? <laughs> what a joker. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
Mom, Dad, thanks so much. I love it. And how about thanking us? I should have known it was you who fixed the robot. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Toasters, MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them, clocks stop ticking. Without them, lights go out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The bee. jam straight from out of the jar. Because it tastes so good. Oh, a bee! <gasps> Shoo! Get out of here! Leave it alone! It's just a plain old bee! Well, I was bitten by one of those plain old bees once. Ugh. Tom Thomas! Don't do it! Go away, you pest! Flies are pests. Bees are very helpful and useful. How can a bee ever help us out? Bees are hard workers. They are constantly collecting nectar from flowers. Flying from flower to flower, bees transport pollen on their bellies. Thanks to this process of pollination, flowers produce fruit and seeds. In other words, bees help plants reproduce. The bees use the nectar they collect to make that delicious sweet honey loved by kids of all ages. And bee honey is not only delicious, it's also nutritious. So, I'm still afraid of it. What if it bites me? Bees don't bite, by the way. They sting ya. I'm gonna show you. Don't! The bee's the one who should be afraid, you tyrant. Yeah, you let it go, tyrant. Why are you calling me names? Who's stopping her? She can fly away if she wants. We need to show her the way out. Well, how? Here, little bee. Fly this way. Why don't you try going? <laughs> then what can I say? Don't move. It'll sting you. It doesn't want to sting. Both of you like to eat sweets. You like eating jam, and so does the bee. Why don't you carry Chusaka to the window? Go on. Fly. No, that's not going to work. You need to go and get more jam. Here, little bee. Yum, yum. Go on and fly. You're free. Let her eat first. Don't be greedy. I'm not being greedy. If she eats, she can make honey out of your jam. Long ago, people could only collect honey by destroying the nests of wild bees. And that went on until someone came up with the idea of taming those insects. They started by leaving enough honey for the bees to survive through the winter. People took care of bees in these hollows until they learned to build small houses for them called beehives. And a town made of these bee houses is called an apiary. Bees live and work together in the beehives making honey, while beekeepers take care of the bees and collect the honey. Bees are real team players. They tell each other where the best flowers grow. Do you know how they do it? One of the bees does a dance. And then the rest of the bees watch the dance and learn where they need to fly. You poor thing. Tom Thomas tired you out. 
I told you there's nothing to be afraid of. You see? She's just so nice and kind. I'm not afraid of her. She wouldn't let me eat my jam, that's all. Well, now it's time for you to fly away. Uh, whoa! She's playing rough here. I want to try. Uh-uh, Nolik. You're too little. You'll have to grow to do this job. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down now. Now let's fly. Hey, Simka, the window's back there. I can see that without you. So how can I get you to turn around? Cool. Hooray! <laughs> She's listening to me. the window. Now! So long, honeybee! Tideesh! Tom Thomas, do you have any more of that jam left? Yeah. What for? Bring it here. We'll get more bees to fly in. How come? What do you mean, how come? Because it's my turn for a bee ride. Special sign I happen to discover. They hold their fingers in the air and flash it to each other. They send their greetings to you. They sing them and they shout. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. The stain. Tom Thomas, what's going on? If you really want to watch TV, then you gotta turn it on first. I'm not watching it, I'm looking at my reflection. I'm working on a self-portrait. And which shelf will you be painting in your shelf-portrait? <laughs> it's not a shelf portrait. It's called a self portrait. It's when an artist draws or paints a picture of himself. Of himself? Ha! You think you've got muscles like this superhero I see here on this paper? Uh, how can I see exactly what my muscles look like? And anyway, let the artist do his work. Tom Thomas, your shirt! There's a spot! <gasps> oh no! Wipe it off, quickly! It's even worse, so now what? Uh, what we really need is Masia. Ordinary dirt can be cleaned off with a brush or washed off with water. But there are stains that are not that easy to get rid of. Stains from fruit need to be soaked in hot water first. Blood stains, on the other hand, should never be washed in hot water. You can clean stains from paint or rust as well. Only for those, you'll need to use a special stain remover. But stain removers should only be used with the help of a parent or other adult that knows how to use them safely. Hey, I know a great way to do it! What do you use to get rid of pencil marks? An eraser. Only this shirt isn't paper. And so what? Let's try it. What's the harm? Now I've got three colors to get off. New idea! We should paint over it with this correction pen. With whiteout? Yeah! That was a bad idea. Now I got it. You have to use some water. The wash should be better, don't you think? No, you can't wash whites with colors. And you've got a white shirt with colors all over it. Then how about if we try some more water? How much more can you use? <sighs> uh, any more ideas? You know what? It's possible we did something wrong. <laughs> Everything you did was wrong. You should have used a spot remover to clean off that stain. A spot remover? No way! Oh, take a look at it, Simka. I think it's marvelous. They painted that white shirt so nicely. Tula is Simka's best friend. She's very tall, almost as tall as Papus. Yeah, she's the tallest one in her class. And she's strong, too. Tula loves to laugh, and she does it louder than everybody. That's
That's just the way she is. Cheerful and kind. Ready to help anyone who needs it and making sure her friends are getting along. Of course, I don't like that she treats me like a baby, especially since she's the one that's a scaredy cat. She can even get scared of a cute little spider. And she believes in all sorts of silly superstitions and horoscopes. Tula will believe anything you tell her, which is really great because it makes it so easy to play tricks on her. But she takes it all in good fun. That's because she's Tula. It was on purpose, wasn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. Tom Thomas, no! Your mom will punish you for just one of them. And now you're gonna make more stains? Don't worry, Nolik. I forgot that this is an old shirt and I'm allowed to get it all dirty if I want. And I tried so hard to clean it. Put another spot there. And over here. One in the middle. And a line over there. Splendid. That looks great. And how about down there? Wow. It's like fireworks. Splendid. There's a name for this style of painting, and properly speaking, it's an abstract painting. They have lots of lines and spots, and everyone sees whatever they want in them. Yeah, look! A golden ball by the river! And there's Tom Thomas with an F on his report card! <laughs> <laughs> Tom Thomas, what did you do to your room? And your shirt. You know what they call it? It's, uh, abstract art. Hmm, there's something good in it. I like it. Abstract art. Isn't it great? Ah, oh, my little artist. the ship and yelling hooray when we win. And how about good sea knots? Can you tie them? <laughs> of course I can tie them. Then tie up our treasure and make sure it's good and tight. Pirates, prepare to attack. I got it. That's done. Good enough. It's good and tight. Now can you survive a storm? Without a doubt. Huh? Whoa! 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 Our treasure! It sunk into the sea. That was my that was my mom's necklace we sunk. I'll pick it all up, don't worry. No, thank you. We'll manage ourselves. He calls himself a sailor. Go and learn to tie some knots. <sighs> Try tying two ropes into a knot. You think it's easy? A badly tied knot will untie itself before you know it. Here's one way to tie it right. First, cross over the two ends like this. Now, to finish the knot, you've got to cross them over again. But not this way. It's got to be in the opposite direction. When it's done, it looks like one loop inside another. This kind of knot is called a square knot. And it won't untie as long as you tie it right. And that's just one of the many kinds of knots a sailor has to learn. Oh! Okay. I knew I could tie it. Now what else is there to practice on around here? I found some more of our treasure. Here's another one. That's 19, but we're supposed to have 20. I know it because I counted our treasure. So what happened to the last one? Well done there. So what else could I tie? Perfect. I even
even remember what it looks like. It's a different color. It's a bright red one. Oh, Mom's gonna notice right away that the red one's gone. I gotta go find it. Yeah, I think it's on the floor. Who tied my laces together? I was just practicing, sorry. And what else did you tie up to practice your knots? Uh, I'm not sure you want to know. You're funny. Let's go and tie them. Don't look at me that way. I'm scared. She's just staring at her own whiskers, Nolik. And what have you done to her whiskers? Well, I tied them with the square knot. Fire, you're just a blockhead. And why don't you tell us what else you've done? Well, okay. I tied a decoration on her tail. That's where it is. We were looking everywhere for that thing. Fire, go and fix everything you've done. Chusaka, don't run away. Don't be scared. We just want to untie the knot. Sailors have developed all sorts of different knots. Without them, they couldn't control their sails. But we couldn't get by without knots on land, either. Mountain climbers use tightly knotted ropes to help them climb and keep them safe. Fishermen tie hooks to their fishing line using special knots. You can't even pitch a camping tent properly without making a knot. When people sew, they tie knots in the thread to hold it in place. And doctors use knots when they stitch and bandage a wound. And a tie wouldn't be a tie if you didn't tie a knot in it. Sneakers won't fall off your feet. And the laces won't drag on the ground if they're tied with a proper knot. But sometimes things can get knotted up by accident. And that's one time when you don't need to know how to tie knots, but how to untie them. All aboard! Like that? Now the only thing left to do is tie a knot. Should I tie it? Are you sure it won't untie? You're joking. Why don't you go ask Chusaka if I can tie a knot like a sailor? Please don't let their secret out. 